Warning. This video is demonstration and educational purpose only. Mishandling life main voltage may cause injuries to body or death. Inexperienced person or electrical student, do not try this work at home or anywhere. Always call professional electrician or certified electrician to do the electrical work. When you walk around in apartment, shopping mall, construction site, or any other high-rise condominium, you may notice an orange metal casing fixed to the concrete that distributes electrical wiring to certain places. This metal casing is called electrical metal trunking and comes in many colors such as orange, red, green, and white. The purpose of using electrical metal trunking is to provide safety to electrical wiring from electrical hazard and for easy installation of electrical wiring. Metal trunking also distributes electrical wiring to certain places for electrical installation. Electrical trunking can be bent into different angles. For example, you can perfectly bend a 90 degree angle to run wire inside the trunking. Also can bend 45 degree angle depends on the shape of the concrete surface. Bending trunking to these angles is easy. And this video will show you how to bend 90 degree angle for metal trunking in side bend on the left side as you see and front bend on the right side. Let's get started. For start, let's prepare the tools. We need metal cutter to cut the metal trunking. Secondly, a measuring tape to measure the metal trunking. A ruler to make the cut line on the metal trunking. Then a test pen to scratch the line on the metal trunking. A marker pen to highlight the cut lines on the metal trunking. Lastly, a battery cordless drill with self-drilling screw. Now all the tools and equipment is ready. Before cut the metal trunking, for safety, Wear hand glove to protect your hands from injuries. Metal trunking is so sharp can cut your hand or finger deep enough to bleed. So wearing a hand glove for this work is top priority. So if everything is ready, let's start bend the metal trunking. Now we have an orange metal trunking here. The first 90 degree bend we are going to make is a side bend. Metal trunking comes in various sizes. In this demonstration, we will be using 2 by 2 inch size metal trunking. All types of metal trunking come with metal cover. The metal trunking has plenty of space inside depending on its size to lay electrical wiring and, and cover it with the metal cover. For this demonstration, both side and front bend use metal trunking size 2 by 2 inch with length of 60 cm. In workplace or at electrical projects, metal trunking size, length and measurement will be different. Take a precise measurement to make the 90 degree bend at workplace for better result. Here in this video is for demonstration only. To make the 90 degree side bend, we need to measure the length of the metal trunking. We already know the metal trunking length is 60 cm. To make the 90 degree bend, we need half of the total length, which means half of the 60 cm is 30 cm. Therefore, 30 cm is the midpoint. And mark it the 30 cm with the marker pen. After mark the midpoint 30 cm, from 30 cm, mark 25 cm to the left and from 30 cm, mark 35 cm from the right. Now use ruler and marker pen to draw the line for the 35 cm from the left, 30 cm at the center, and 35 cm from the right. After draw the line for 25 cm, 30 cm, and 35 cm, now using all the three lines, draw the three line all side of the trunking. All the line draw all side of the trunking must be accurate or at least have some plus minus difference in the measurement to get close to the 90 degree angle. Also draw the three lines with same measurement at the front side of the trunking. All the three lines is draw all side of the trunking. Before cut the trunking into 90 degree bend, make sure the 90 degree bend must be in left side direction or right side direction depends on the workplace measurement. For this demonstration, the side bend doesn't need left or right direction because the measurement is same. Using red color marker pen, highlight the spot to cut the metal trunking. Here going to cut the front side of the metal trunking and at the side of the trunking. Also at the midpoint 30 cm line. So the spot where the red color is marked, going to cut that spot only. First, cut the both middle 30 cm line at the front side of the trunking. Then cut the 25 cm line at the marking spot. Bend the front side of the trunking upwards. Then cut the red marking spot at the side of the trunking. Then bend out the marking spot after the cut. Then cut off the remaining trunking fragment completely. The red marking spot is cut down completely. 
Now at the back of the trunking, cut the middle 30 cm line. Open the trunking outwards after cut the middle line. Then cut the sharp square shape into a round shape. This is because the square shape has sharp pointy edge can injure your hand if mishandled. The next step is to mark this spot on the side of the trunking to cut. But there's no need to cut at the back of the trunking mark X. Cut at the 35cm line first, then bend outwards the trunking fragment. Then cut the 35cm line fully. Pull out the cut trunking fragment, then cut it out the trunking fragment completely. Then bend the trunking inwards. Now you get a 90 degree side bend for the trunking. We are halfway to complete the 90 degree side bend for the trunking. All the cutting works in trunking looks good and no defect. And it's in correct 90 degree angle for the trunking. Repeat the same step as before at the back of the trunking. Cut the sharp edges in round shape. Then bend the trunking inwards in 90 degree angle again. Turn the trunking in the side where the 90 degree angle form. Use battery cordless drill with self drilling screw. Screw the back of the trunking where the 90 degree angle bend form. Self drilling screw is suitable for metal trunking because it can easily drill through the metal without need for the metal drill bit. This makes the installation process faster and more efficient. Now the perfectly 90 degree side bend for the metal trunking is done. If we measure the 90 degree bend trunking to the end to end, as you see, the measurement is 30 cm at the left side and same as the right side 30 cm. So the total 60 cm length of the trunking as before. If this measurement is correct, then the 90 degree bend is correct. Now let's do the side bend for the trunking cover. The length of the trunking cover is same 60 cm and repeat the same step for the measurement as the 30 cm is the midpoint and mark the midpoint by scratch the trunking cover with the test pen. Then from the 30 cm to the left, mark the 25 cm and from the 30 cm to the right, mark the 35 cm. Next, use ruler and draw the line at the 30 cm midpoint using the test pen. Use marker pen to highlight the 30 cm line on the trunking cover. And then mark the side of the trunking cover from the 25 cm to 35 cm. This marking will going to cut to make the 90 degree bend in the trunking cover. First, cut the side of the trunking cover with the marking from the 25 cm to the 35 cm. Cut off the side of the trunking cover clean and completely. Next, cut at the middle line at the 30 cm mark. Do not cut all the way to the end of the line as this will prevent the 90 degree bend from being made in the trunking cover. Finally, bend the trunking cover inwards. There you go, the 90 degree bend for the trunking cover is made. Place the trunking cover onto the 90 degree side bend of the metal trunking. It should fit perfectly due to the accurate measurement of the metal trunking and the cover. Simply use self drilling screw to secure the trunking cover onto the metal trunking. Now drill some self drilling screw to the trunking cover together with the metal trunking. At last, the 90 degree side bend for the metal trunking is done. Have a look around the trunking. Still got some measurement defect but even though still can do the side bend for the metal trunking. The perfect 90 degree side bend for the metal trunking has been complete. Now you learn and understand how to make 90 degree side bend for the metal trunking. Next, we will move on to making the front bend for the metal trunking. Here we have the metal trunking and its cover, which are same as before. To make the front bend, we will need to bend the trunking in front direction at the 90 degree angle. So let's proceed with making the front bend for the metal trunking. For the front bend, going to cut only at the both side of the trunking on the left and the right side. Not at the back of the trunking like done the side bend before. Front bend trunking method will be different. The measurement of the trunking is same as before 60 cm. Now mark the 30 cm midpoint by scratch the trunking surface using the test pen. After that, use marker pen to highlight the 30 cm line. Then use test pen to draw the 30 cm line at the side of the metal trunking on both sides. The line must be accurate to previous measurement 30 cm in order to do front bend. Then use marker pen to highlight the line on the both side, also at the front of the trunking. Use the measurement tape on the side of the metal trunking. Then mark the 25 cm line on the left and mark the 35 cm line on the right. Turn the metal trunking in front position. Then mark the 25 cm line and 35 cm line in front side. Then use a ruler to mark the 35 cm line, 30 cm line 
and 25 cm line on the other side at the front position of the trunking. Use marker pen to highlight all the 6 lines on the front side of the trunking. Then mark the lines and the spot where the cut should be made in order to create the 90 degree front bend. Make sure only cut at the marked spot. If cut incorrectly, the 90 degree front bend will be not possible. First, use the metal cutter and cut the front 6 line first. Then bend outwards the front side of the trunking at the marking spot. Cut off completely the marking spot at the front side of the trunking. Do the same step to the other side of the front too. Now cut the middle 30cm line on both sides of the metal trunking. After the cut, bend the trunking inwards. Now you get the perfect 90 degree front bend for the metal trunking. But the job isn't over yet. Need to screw the front bend trunking at the side of the metal trunking. Use battery cordless drill with self drilling screw. Screw the drilling screw at the side of the trunking where the 90 degree front bend are made. Make sure screw the both side of the front bend to stay still in 90 degree angle. Now the 90 degree angle front bend for the trunking is done. Let's bend the trunking cover. To do the front bend for the trunking cover is easy. Now the total length of the trunking cover is 60 cm. Half of the 60 cm is 30 cm. Then using the test pen mark at the 30 cm. Use ruler to mark the 30 cm at the side of the trunking cover. Mark the 30 cm line at both side of the trunking cover. Use marker pen to highlight the 30 cm line at both side of the trunking cover. After that, use the metal cutter and cut the 30 cm line at both side of the trunking cover. When cut the side of the trunking cover, may form some defect. Just bend back the defect and it will be okay. Bend the trunking cover outwards. Now we have the front bend trunking cover. Let's put it on the front bend trunking cover to the metal trunking. When put the trunking cover onto the metal trunking, it sits perfectly on the metal trunking. But the trunking cover extends past each end of the metal trunking and needs to be cut down to match the measurement of the metal trunking. Using the metal trunking measurement at the each end of the trunking cover, cut side of the trunking cover, do the same step at the other end of the trunking cover. Next, cut off completely the extended trunking cover at the end of the trunking cover. Also do the same process to the other end of the trunking cover. After cut the remaining end of the trunking cover, put on the trunking cover to the metal trunking. Now the trunking cover perfectly fits to the metal trunking measurement. To secure the trunking cover to the metal trunking, use battery cordless drill and self drilling screw. Then screw the trunking cover to the metal trunking on both sides at various place. Finally, the 90 degree angle front bend for the metal trunking is complete. As you see, even got some measurement defect but still able to do the 90 degree front bend and it's so close to perfect. When measuring the metal trunking from end to end, it measures 30 cm on one side and also 30 cm on the other side of the metal trunking. However, when measuring the trunking cover from end to end, the measurement is 25 cm. This is because 5 cm is already occupied by the 90 degree bend of the metal trunking. Therefore, the trunking cover needs to cut down by 5 cm at each end to match the measurement of the metal trunking. After all the steps and process to take to do the front bend for the metal trunking is now fully complete. Here we are in the end of the video. Finally, you learn and understand how to do 90 degree side bend and front bend for the metal trunking. After going through the process of measuring the metal trunking, cutting down the metal trunking to match the measurement and making the 90 degree bend for the metal trunking, it can be concluded that the 90 degree side bend and front bend for the metal trunking is now fully complete and the task has been accomplished. All necessary steps has been taken to ensure that the trunking cover fits perfectly onto the metal trunking and the end result is well finished 90 degree side bend and front bend for the trunking. As the curtain draw to a close on this electric flying journey, I hope you charge up your knowledge and spark your curiosity. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button to stay plugged in into more fascinating electrical content videos. And remember, your thoughts and feedback are always welcome in comment section below. Until next time, keep the current flowing.